Hello, David. How are you? Good to be on. I'm glad you feel that way. You ever go on a show that you were not glad to be on? <laughs> I have been on a couple of those. Yes. Oh, okay, fine. Fair enough. <laughs> what is the current state of allowance for church attendance? You know, it's, it's remarkable in different areas of the country. You have certain states who are abiding by the Constitution and deciding on a neutral basis if we're letting people to congregate, um, whether they're secular or religious, we'll do it in an even-handed fashion. But there are several states, like Nevada, uh, that have chosen to treat churches and religious organizations worse. So you can go to a casino with hundreds and thousands of your uh, hundreds or thousands of your best friends, uh, but you can't go to church with uh, 50 other people. How, how do they answer that question? Yeah, I mean, basically, there's a couple problems. So uh, people are familiar with these executive orders all over the country. They start by deciding on an ad hoc basis what's essential and what's not essential. And rather than putting church and spiritual things and worship in the essential category, they put it in the non-essential category, uh, and so then they justify it by it's not a necessity for people. And I think that's something the government shouldn't be doing. So, in effect, at least in, in California, I would imagine, church, churches are on a par with nail salons. Sometimes. Sometimes nail salons are treated better than churches, and that's <laughs> okay. another thing that's remarkable. If you look at the way they categorize uh, different types of uses, it seems like churches are always on the, the bottom end of the list. And so they'll reopen, as, as people know they've done in phases, Well, they'll decide that, for example, we've had several cases uh, where they're open bars um, before they're open churches, or nail salons, uh, or as I mentioned, casinos, or things like that. And so the way, I, I'm not sure how they get to the conclusion about what's necessary or not, but All they're right, so I'm certainly you, putting religious worship. I want to ask you uh, hmm? a, a, an uncomfortable question. Why don't more clergy rebel? Yeah, and I think the reason is is that, you know, we're taught to follow um, what our leaders say. Uh, the problem is, is, is when you go too far, and not only do you violate, you know, what churches may consider to be God's rights and commands, but you, you violate our own, uh, like the Constitution being one. And so, you know, churches are being as patient as they could be. They've been waiting months now, but more and more you're seeing churches start to say, look, you know, we are commanded to worship together. We've been doing this for months now. You're letting people go out in throngs um, to protest and to go do other things, which are also protected by the Constitution, but you shouldn't be picking and choosing winners, winners and losers when it comes to the First Amendment. So have you, has the ATF gone to court on this matter? We have. We've gone to court in um, many, many cases. We've we filed and or send demand letters in, um, in over 15 cases already. We have them pending in uh, Nevada. Um, we just won one in uh, Oregon. We won in Kansas, Mississippi. So we've been filing these cases for the last several months because it seems to be the only way to get the attention of, of some of the government officials. When you allow say churches you've won open. in Oregon, what, what does that mean? Well, what that means is is that we filed a lawsuit there uh, because churches were limited to 25 people, but yet you can go to a restaurant with no capacity limit or a gym or a workout class or whatever whatever have you. And so we filed a lawsuit on behalf of a small church that said, look, we want to meet with more than 25 people. We filed a lawsuit, and then in response, the state turned around and amended uh, their restrictions and allowed churches to meet on the same basis as others. So we've also had court victories where the court issued an opinion saying, like the state of Kansas, it's unconstitutional the way you're limiting churches and actually ordering the state to open churches back up. So we've had many different kinds. All right. I want to ask a couple of more questions. ADF, I, I, I ask you to help them, by the way. 